Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. What would you say if you could get Maya, Autodesk's 3D application Maya, for one-sixth the price? Well, now you basically can with Maya Creative with a big, gigantic, huge butt. And we'll get to that butt in a second. But first, let's talk about Maya Creative itself. It's a, it's a mostly stripped down but fully functioning version of Maya. I'll show you what features are not included in just a second. Uh, but for the most part, the tools you expect from Maya are there. Um, it is, is launching Maya Creative to make content creation more accessible by lowering the barrier of entry to uh, for artists at smaller facilities. Uh, this more affordable and flexible version of Maya is a great option for anyone looking to scale capability or access, um, access professional 3D tools. Uh, Maya Creative features powerful modeling, animation, rigging, and rendering tools for film, television, and game development, including Maya's full industry standard creative tool set. High-end 3D modeling, uh, UV, look, dev, texturing, uh, motion graphics, animation, deformation, uh, camera sequencing, rendering, and imaging, and data and scenes assembly. Maya Creative includes Arnold Renderer to meet the demands of complex and photo real VFX and animation workflow. Uh, it's available for both Windows and Mac. Artists can use it um, as it makes sense for their workflow through Flex. Ha <laughs> ha! We're beginning to see the butt. Uh, Autodesk pay-as-you-go option for daily product use. Autodesk's goal was to introduce a cost-effective, um, a cost-efficient option for freelancers, boutique facilities, or small business creative teams who do not uh, need the same API access or extensive requirements for uh, larger production workflows. But to be honest, for most of you, especially if you are like a solo game developer, this feature, this version has pretty much everything you could expect, to be honest. So let's go on over. Uh, here is the page over on Autodesk's site. Uh, it's basically... Uh, really what you can think of this as is a slightly stripped down pay-as-you-go version of the full version of Maya. Uh, so uh, some details of it here, but what you're really going to be interested in is where the differences lie in terms of functionality. And let's go take a look here. So this is full Maya. This is Maya Creative on the left. And you're going to see immediately no pain effects. Uh, probably not a huge deal for most people. No substance integration. Now, this one is definitely going to be a bit more of a deal breaker for a lot of game developers. Substance is becoming more and more essential. Now, you can still use substance. You're just not going to have integrated. So you're not going to have that two-way bridge support. But you can still obviously create textures in substance. Uh, otherwise, um, under this category, animation and rigging, 100% feature, um, feature uh, parity there. Same for motion graphics. Uh, rendering and imaging, the only differences are Maya Toon Shader and Vector Renderer are missing. Uh, dynamics is where the biggest difference is. So you've got read-only to Bifrost, so you can work with people doing Bifrost uh, special effects for you, but you cannot create them. At the same time, no fur, no hair, no particles, no end cloth, and so on. So if you're on the dynamic side of things, uh, Maya Creative is definitely not the platform for you. Um, also, in terms of pipeline integration, you get Mel scripting, Python scripting, PySide, and custom UI for proprietary tools, uh, but no access to the APIs or the SDKs behind the scene beyond the scripting access. Uh, under terms of data scene, management everything except for unreal engine live link um so again if you want to make a change directly in maya it will immediately update in your game uh you can work around this but obviously it is a quality of life feature if you are working with unreal engine and interestingly enough no linux support uh so this is uh going to be for windows and mac os users only um i don't know why i imagine maybe their flex platform simply doesn't work with this. Uh, but the key thing here again is that Flex platform. So if you've never heard of Flex before, uh, Flex is kind of their pay as you go token based system. So you buy tokens and then you use them uh, to like use your software for however long. So basically you're buying uh, an hour of tokens or whatever. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to work with, well, I guess we'll stick with Maya on this example. Interestingly enough, the new version of Maya is not being shown here yet. So you got one user using it uh, 15 days a month. You're better off buying a subscription. Well, that's not very good. What about 11 days a month? Uh, okay, you're still better off buying a subscription. All right, six days? All right, there we go. So six days worth of tokens would cost you 400. Uh, so you need 432 tokens a year, which would cost $1,300. So as you can see from this, the pricing... For, for Flex, kind of sucks. And so almost nobody likes Flex. Uh, it's useful for a certain segment of the population. Let's say you wanted to use Maya like a day or two a month, and that was it. That's what this Flex gives you. But the cost of six tokens a day makes it somewhat prohibitive. So again, let's say you wanted to do... So 10 days a month, you're looking at uh, $2,160. But if you divide that by six, well, suddenly the price is 
definitely better. Sorry, not per month, per year. So you're looking at uh, $2,100 a year. That would drop it down to more like, say, uh, just shy of $300 to use it for 10 days uh, in the new version. So why am I saying that six version? Well, if you go on down to the frequent, frequently asked question, you will see how much does Maya Creative cost? It costs one token per day. So uh, that is the ultimate uh, catch and the butt here. So realistically, if you're using it for Dynamics, it's a no-go. If you need to have custom access to the API, it's a no-go. Otherwise, it is basically a version of Maya, um, again, with a few features missing here that you can only kind of pay as you go using this flex system. And uh, let's see if I can find a one token item here. So there, there are definitely one token items. Let's get rid of Maya and find uh, let's see mud box. Nobody uses mud box. So it's probably cheap. One token a day. All right, there we go. So here, this is the comparable pricing you would see uh, to use um, uh, the new express version. I think it was Express. I'm already forgetting the name of it. All right. Well, what is this thing actually called? Creative. Sorry, the creative version of it. So if you wanted to use it for, um, say, 18 days, that's about a working period. Uh, you're looking at $650 a year for this version. Let's say you're using it every single day. Uh, you're still only looking at $1,000, which compared to a subscription for uh, Maya is still literally about a third of the price. So in that case, if you are literally, um, generally people don't work 30 days a year, 30 days a month. I think it's more like 20, 21, I think is a standard work um, week. Well, so I guess it's five times, duh. Okay, so five times four is 20. Uh, that's hard math. Uh, 720 bucks a year. Uh, so this is definitely a good deal if you are down with, uh, first off, if you want Maya, you do not need dynamics. You do not need substance integration. You do not need API access. Otherwise, it is basically the same version, but you can only get it this way. But the pricing is definitely improved. You're, you're literally looking at um, one sixth of the price when it comes to uh, buying it this way. So um, Maya itself is six tokens versus one token. And even when you are looking at a subscription cost, um, 720 bucks is still uh, well under a quarter of the price of subscribing to uh, Maya in the first place. So that is the new system, Maya Creative. Again, available only with their Flex. Uh, you can check out a uh, free trial of it uh, if you are interested. Again, this is only available uh, for Windows and Mac. I don't know why the Linux version wasn't made available. Either they consider it a pro-only um, platform or their Flex system doesn't work with Linux. I'm not sure which one is the case. Uh, but if you're on Linux, you are out of luck. But if you were looking at getting Maya, so realistically, if you use Maya Creative just like a handful of times a year, it is a really solid deal. If you use Maya Creative... Uh, if you're using Maya all the time and you're not using all of those features, this also gives you an ability to basically pay about a third to a quarter of what you are paying now. Um, but if you want the full feature, or if you need dynamics and all that stuff, this is completely useless to you. But truthfully, uh, I don't like pay-as-you-go software. I, I do think, though, that this pricing on this version with this feature set is pretty reasonable. But I'm curious what you think of this. I know some of you are going to despise this with all of your soul. And I know for some of you, it's probably going to save you a lot of money, potentially. I'd be curious to know. Let me know comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.